Father. And the God is an all-knowing God, and he's an all-knowing seeing God. And God would pick you up, and he would dust you off. And he would raise you up, and he'd tell you, go home and walk in your calling. Don't worry about what nobody say. Men didn't call you, I call you. Come on out. I call you. I call you. And so that's what fellowship is all about. We come tonight to lift up the Lord, yeah. to exalt him, yeah. because he is worthy yeah. to be praised. Yeah. He died. He died for our sins. He didn't have to die. He laid his life. Did nobody take his life? He laid his down that we might have eternal peace. And so it's up to us. He created us to praise him. Yeah. And it's not about us anymore. I made up my mind, Lord, if I got to run this race, I'll run it by myself. Because I'm determined. I'm determined to seek God. I'm determined to do everything that God has called me to do. The devil try to come against me all kind of way. But you may knock me down. But I'm going to come right back up. Go ahead, girl. I'm back with more power. I'm coming back with more authority. Yeah. I'm coming back with the power yeah. of the word of God yeah. in my mouth. Yes. Yeah. Because what the devil meant for bad. Sometimes the devil try to kick you yeah. and when you're down, he started kicking you. Yeah. He started kicking you, but he yeah. don't know the whole while he's kicking you. He making you a strong person. Yeah. He making you tough. That when you can go out and speak to the devil, and then God gonna begin to use you in a mighty, a mighty way. Yeah. Some people may look at you and think you ain't about nothing yeah. because you might not have a nice car, yeah. you might not have a nice suit, but that's okay because you can't take none of it when you yeah. go anywhere. Hey. I serve a God. I serve a God, and He's an all-knowing God. Yeah. He said, "No weapon to form against us shall yeah. prosper." Yeah. Every tongue yeah. that rise up against yeah. us shall be, be yeah. condemned. Yeah. The greater He that is living. discouraged by letting people dictate our life and tell us God ain't calling you to do nothing and then you begin to want to sit down you begin to want to sit out you don't want to do nothing Lord I'm, I'm, I ain't preaching no more I'm not doing nothing Come on here. whenever I try to do something something is always necessary but I come to serve to tell you tonight yes God said whatever you need is in the house tonight yes. whatever Tonight. All you gotta do is reach for it. Yes. There's deliverance in the house tonight. Yes. There's salvation in the life of the house tonight. Yes. There's healing, yes. yes. There's bondage. If, you, if, you, if you've been delivered and you if you if you are in some, some things not of God that you need to be set free, he said it's freedom in the house. Freedom is in the house tonight. Freedom in the house tonight. He say, come eat from the table of bread, yes. Bread, yes, but we gotta want to. We gotta have a desire. We gotta put God first. We don't want to be going in the same motion anymore. And I decide I'm gonna serve God. If I gotta walk alone, yes, I'm gonna walk alone, yes. I continue to pray for you. I'm gonna continue to love for you. But I'm gonna walk alone, yes, because I don't know what your purpose is. But I know what my purpose is. Because on Judgment Day, yes, I want my Father to say, Well done, look out faith for service. So I encourage you tonight. To be in fellowship. To be in fellowship. Don't fake it shake with your friends. Don't fake it shake with your believers. Because God sees the heart. Man may see the eyes see his appearance. But God see a heart. And God is looking for somebody to raise up a new generation. Because we're running out of time, y'all. And it's time to be about our business. Yes. We ain't got time to be trying to say who the best choir in time. Who the best preacher in time. Everybody want to talk. They want a title. They want to be known bishop. They want to be known pastor. The pastor. It ain't in your titles. Come on, yeah.
your money coming from. But thank God I got you. Your children may be acting a fool, but thank God I got you. You may have siblings and brothers locked up behind clothes, yes. But thank God I'm still alive. I'm still alive because I saw my able God. I saw a God that who was able to do he can do his stealing it above all that he can ask the thing. And yes, I thank sir. you guys. And so I encourage you. To be in fellowship. Because sometimes God got to move you away from people. Come on here. He got to move you away from people. Hey, he got to move you away from people. Because he got to get you on the path that you need to be on the path. Because if you continue to stay with them, you will never be able to do what God has called you to do. Come on here. Because a lot of times, people see something in you. They see something in you. And I'm the type of woman I tell you right now, I don't want to be nobody pastor. All I want to do is serve God. All I want to do is it's an instrument. So it's anointing is on my life. It's something that I went through. It's something that I went through. So don't hate on me. Don't hate on me. Don't hate on me. Don't hate on me. Because that's a price that we have to pay. It's a price that we have to pay. We have endured. The apostle Paul endured. He went through a lot of stuff. He suffered. He was actually stoned and left for dead. He was shipwrecked several times. They persecuted him. But you know what? It was anointing on his life. He was determined. He was determined to do God's work. Just like I'm determined. And each and one of you determined, determined to run this work and fellowship with believers. Don't fellowship with people sick saying they go they go to church and Christians. Uh -uh. Come on here. Keep it real. Fellowship with true worshipers that's got your back. That when you call them, like the sister was saying earlier, they're going to look at the call ID. Oh, she going to something. She don't want nothing. You get with somebody, they're going to stick with you. I don't care what you're going through. They're going to stick with you. And that's what fellowship is all about. Being together in unity, everybody being in one accord, everybody seeking and love the Lord. So be encouraged. And I just thank this uh, Sandra and Pastor Sanders for giving me the opportunity to come here and bring forth your word and